No. That's hilarious. I know. I'm getting to it. I'm just, uh, sort of, I'm not ready. All right, I'm ready. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Julie always says I go, that's probably right. All right. I don't know why I just do that on the floor. What was it, a french fry? It's just a piece of little salt crumb. So. Benedict Cumberbatch. Batch. 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 Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Batch. Cumberbatch. That's really hard to do. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. All right, so. I'm gonna have a burger. It'll be good. Mm. Oh, Holy shit. Hot saucy monkey here. Am I? That sounded weird. Hey, hot saucy monkey here today. Gonna try. Now, I'm not gonna be honest with you. I tried this in Dallas at the Hot Sauce Festival. Despite angry Irish, angry Irishman, angry Irishman. I knew that, but for some reason, I'm a fool. Angry Irishman, dill, delicious dill pickle hot sauce. Um, according to this, I'll get close with that. So I'm going to put that on my burger. And even though I really like this salsa maya on my burger, the habanero aioli, and I've done a review on this before, and I, we finished the bottle. So we just bought a new bottle and already used some of it. But... It's really good, so probably gonna use this to dip my fries. And I know this isn't a sauce, but dude, crispy dillies, fried cucumbers that tasted just like pickles. It's pretty freaking good. In fact, if you look back here on the back, the bag, that's a chicken sandwich, not quite a burger, but close enough. So good. These people need to like sponsor me just because, I mean, we just go through it. Anyway, not the point. So, <laughs> delicious, right? I already opened it, um, and I smelled it, and dude, I've had a lot of different pickle sauces. This one actually smells like pickles. That should essentially be the first step in making a sauce that is pickle-related would be that it smells like pickles. I don't remember what it tastes like, um, so I'll just put a tiny bit, and, uh, Labeled out. Got my avocado smashed in there already. I'm sure you people are going, hey, dude, where's the cheese and all the other stuff? It's right there. I just don't care about that stuff. Uh, but avocado, I mean, that's good. Mmm. See the steam. I may have ruined my bun a little bit when I was putting the avocado in there. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Seriously though, all I can taste is the hot burger in my mouth. And so conveniently this spoon is sitting here. Dude, that tastes exactly like pickles. It says dill pickle as an ingredient. It makes a lot of sense, right? A pickle sauce probably should have at least dill, right? But this has pickles in it. It wasn't really hot, but it is making my mouth water like nobody's business. And it's, uh, that's so good. What's in this? The pepper mash is scorpion pepper. Yeah, I can feel that coming up a little bit. A little bit of that scorpion pepper sneaking up on you. And uh, seriously though, if I was gonna describe that, it's just really amazing, perfectly seasoned, 
pickle sauce. So if you're like me and you're going, dude, I would like a sauce that actually tastes like pickles to be a pickle hot sauce. I found it from you angry Irishmen. I met them, great people. Um, he had a kilt, I was jealous. But uh, I don't know that I can rock the kilt the same way he can. But seriously, that is some amazing stuff, so. I mean, I'll admit this probably is better on the burger, but dude, it's just so good. Simple ingredients. I've noticed some of the hot sauces I've picked up lately have a lot of, just a lot of really, just a lot of ingredients that we don't want in our food. Not that I'm throwing anybody under the bus, but small batch, large batch, whatever the case, there's no reason to have all these like fake ingredients. And this stuff, I mean, what? Sugar, spices, habanero pepper, vinegar, eggs, lemon juice? I've heard of all of those. I don't even know what's in this. I can't really read it very well, but yeah, same thing. I can't see anything that I don't recognize. Look at that. My mouth's watering like crazy, exactly. And I know I haven't tried this yet for you, but uh, dude, for real, it tastes nothing like zucchini. It's basically a fried pickle. Mm. If I didn't know we already destroyed this bun, I'd put this one in. Now granted, it's a little salty on its own for me. I'm a crybaby when it comes to salt, unless I'm doing keto, then salt, bring it to me. But I'm not right now. Clearly you can tell I've been putting on weight. So I'm not doing keto right now. And <laughs> there's a plate full of french fries. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so, I'm gonna get back to eating this. Get some of this for the love of Pete. This is local. I don't even know how far they reach yet, but go online, go to Instagram, whatever you gotta do, Salsa Maya. So good, both of these, all of it. And I just wanted to thank my beautiful wife over here who's holding the camera for holding the camera and uh, not having a plate full of food right now. And, uh, you know, making all this wonderful food. So I'm going to get back to this. Thanks for watching. Hot Saucy Monkey out. <laughs> Lick off your fingers good. Mm -hmm.